How's it going? My name's David Taylor, and I want to talk about dry socket. Now, as you can see, unfortunately, I'm still a smoker. I ought to know better. I'm 30 years old. It's a horrible habit to have. And every one of our fellow smokers out there knows that we ought to quit this before it kills us. Uh, unfortunately, me and all the other smokers out there are a bunch of stubborn idiots, and, uh, we don't want to give it up. And that's fine, you know, it is what it is. Life isn't always about, uh, giving things up. Some things you're just gonna do, whether or not it's good for you, you know, and you'll pay the consequences for the decisions you make, uh, while you're alive. Anyway. But we're talking about dry socket, and we're talking about smokers, and how to deal with uh, tooth extraction. You know, when you're a smoker, because when you're a smoker, you become very concerned about getting dry socket, which is a painful condition, and you really don't want to have it. So I have had several teeth removed from the bottom of my mouth, as you can see. They are no longer there. Uh, because of a gum line thing, I don't know, that a dentist could explain better. Regardless to say, I've had six teeth pulled out of the back of the bottom of my mouth, and it has been a whole lot of fun, especially because I'm a smoker, right? And you're not supposed to smoke when you get uh, a tooth pulled, and that's, that's the truth, unfortunately. So I want to explain what I do, uh, and hopefully that'll help you or at least answer some questions and concerns you might have. Uh, every time I've gone... You know, they pull the tooth out, which is just a horrible experience all by itself. Uh, and you get your medication, and that's fine. You know, everybody likes medication. Woo! <laughs> Who doesn't? Anyway, so they stick the little, you know, you keep the little gauze in there. And uh, what I do is I, 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 I put the gauze in, and I change it out. And for the first, um, I'm going to say about 6 to 10 hours, don't smoke. Just, just don't do it. It's going to be tough. I know eight, eight hours is a long time to go uh, without a cigarette. I know that. It's horrible that that's the truth. But it is the truth. So just don't smoke. Okay? If you smoke, that suction in your mouth is going to yank that scab out of there. Okay? And then uh, it's going to get infected by all the bacteria that live in your mouth and your saliva and help break down food. Okay? Because, you know, it, it helps ease the transition from mouth to stomach so it's very important that that scab stays in that hole for that first eight hour period because if you smoke during that eight hour period that suction is going to pop it out and then you're going to swallow it and then something nasty is going to get in there and you're going to go back to the doctor and, or the dentist and he's going to go well <laughs> I told you not to smoke and uh, yeah you're going to be in some pain and dry socket has been known to last for a long time so you really don't want that to happen so just don't smoke at least eight hours. After that eight hour period, go ahead and put another gauze in there and the dentist should give you extra gauze. If he doesn't, he's being a shyster. Put that extra gauze in there, clamp down like that, and then you can smoke, okay? Just take it easy, light puffs, you know, cut the filter off if you need uh, more of a hit. And then just, you know, for the next, another eight hour period, you should be okay. Keep that little cloth in there take little puffs. I do it. I've done it every time. I've done it six times. It works. I've never gotten dry socket. So, that's what you can do. Alright? Just clamp down. Alright, so first eight hours, no smoking. Don't smoke. Don't do it. You want to, don't do it. I mean, if you got it that bad, you could stick it in your nose or, or light it. And One time I tried, I got a little kid's uh, water suck toy and I put the cigarette in the end of it you know those like you stick it in the pool and you pull it up and it sucks water into the chamber and then you squeeze it and it shoots water out you could stick a cigarette in that hole and suck it up and then pull the cigarette and if you blow it it'll blow smoke out but that's really a tragic and desperate and sad thing to be doing and I'm almost too ashamed to even admit it publicly anyway so this will work first eight hours don't smoke second eight hours keep the gauze in there and then you can smoke and obviously you don't want to drink coffee or, uh, you know, carbonated drinks. I never drink anything but water for the first, I don't want to say, day and a half, two days. So just take it easy. Take your pills, you know, relax. No alcohol. All right, but the pills should do fine. 
it, at least you'll be a little more relaxed and you won't be ready to freak out because you don't have a cigarette. All right, so listen to my advice. I've done it six times in a row. That's the truth about dry socket and smoking.